Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common bug, I guess you could say, a common cause of Android apps crashing using tools that you already know how to use tracing and temporary debugging statements. Okay, maybe a little bit of comments too, we'll see. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got um, Criminal Intent. It's a project that we use in our um, course on mobile programming. And uh, this is a finished version of it, but I broke it in some way. Now we're gonna go find what's wrong and we're gonna fix it. So let's go ahead and build it and you'll see what I mean by broke it. Okay, so you can see on the right there, there's the emulator, and you see it automatically crashed. Let's try to run that again. You know, you're sitting there working on your assignment or whatever, and it crashed on your like, oh my gosh, criminal intent keeps stopping, right? So this is an example of an error known as an Android not responding error, and uh, it sucks, right? It's, it's, it's one of those ones that can be really hard to find, so, or to fix. Finding it's usually harder. Uh, so what are you going to do? How are you going to fix this? Okay. Well, for reasons, you know, we don't use the actual debugger uh, for this in my class because, like I said, reasons. But I'm going to show you how you can fix it using what you already know how to use. All right. So tracing. So a good thing you can do, a good place to start. Okay. Basically, if you understand the activity lifecycle, if you understand how methods work, if you understand those basics and where to find the launch point or the starting point of your app, then you can trace through until you find the problem, okay? So a good rule of thumb, it's not always, but a good rule of thumb most times is to start at the manifest and go look for the intent filter that has the main and the launcher in it, okay? So that activity then is your launch activity. That's the entry point into the program. So. You can go look in prime list activity. So let's go over here. Okay. <clears throat> and you look for on create, on create uh, view methods. Okay. These are methods that, you know, start there. They're methods that get automatically invoked when a new screen or a new fragment comes up, right, on the screen when it's created for the first time. Um, now, this is weird because it doesn't have an on create or a on create view, but we're going to see if this actually does to what it's supposed to do okay so um now it's see how it says single fragment activity if i go look in single fragment activity then you can see that there's the on create there set content view fragment manager fragment so this this uh, on create method is all going to execute so there is where we can start taking our our, our look right because the crime fragment extends, um, or crime list activity, excuse me, extends single fragment activity. And so it inherits its on create method. So what we'll do is we'll create a um, log cap message. Okay. And we'll just see where it takes us. Okay. And uh, I'll just say something like entered. Uh, let's see here, single fragment activity, um, colon, colon, on create. Okay. And we have to import log cat. So just hit alt enter or the, the log uh, class I mean. Okay. And then we'll also include at the very end of that method, the message that says, um, you know, exiting. Okay. Now, if I see this first message in logcat, but not the second, then that tells me that my crash must be happening in between. Okay. So let's just go ahead and run it and see if we see both those things or not in logcat. So the for the key, I used Hank. And so as you can see, I already typed it in there. Um, so here are the error messages. Here are the, the, the debug logs, right? So it says here, entered single frag uh, fragment activity on create and then exited. So there's no problem here. The crash isn't happening in the on create method. Okay. So 
Let's go back and look at crime list activity. Okay, which extends single fragment activity. Okay, so there's only thing that's here is this create fragment uh, method. Okay, um, so let's see if that actually executes. If we actually get that far to enter into that method. Activity. All right, so let's go ahead and run it. So do we see that message? Yes, we do. So there it is, the third entry, right? Now here's the thing, I can't put a log cat message after the return statement because it'll never execute because it'd be after a return statement. So what code here actually executes? New crime list fragment. So that's instantiating a new crime list fragment um, object. So let's go look in crime list fragment and we'll look for our on create and our on create view. Okay, update UI, on resume, on create options menu. Uh, okay, so let's look at the on create and on create view because this is crashing before we even see anything, right? So let's put log cat messages in here. This is crime list fragment. Okay, on create and uh, exiting. Okay, let's see if we see both of those messages. And we do, right? So this isn't causing our problem. So let's just move on to on create view then and do a similar thing. Okay. okay. Entered on create view and exiting on create view. So let's go to the end of on create view and get down as far as we can, uh, which is this return statement right here. Okay, so exiting on create view. Okay, do we see both of those? So we see entered crimeless fragment on create view, but we don't see exiting. So what does that tell me? That tells me that my crash, and this fragment on create view, that tells me that my crash is happening in between these two places right here. Has to be, right? Because I entered the method, but I never left the method. So it has to be in between. Now there's a method called update UI here. So it could potentially even be in here. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna make another logcat statement. And I'm going to say uh, inside. Okay, and we're going to call this uh, zero. Make a little note there. Okay, so let's rebuild it and see if I see that uh, that zero inside uh, message. And I don't. Okay, so that tells me that the crash is in between here and here. So let's just move up again. Okay, so we'll go here. If I see the one, then that means that this must be the crash right here. If I don't, that means that the crash must be right there. Okay, so let's try it again. So, I mean, we're just narrowing it down. We identified where it was by tracing, following along, and now we're just narrowing down using these, these messages. Okay, so enter it on create view. Okay, but we don't see the one here. So that means that the crash is in between here in here. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Okay, do I see the two? If I see the two, then that means the crash is between the two and the one. And I do. So this is the problem right here, has to be. Okay, so I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, okay, new linear layout manager. Now, the Linear Layout Manager itself, that is an object that is provided by Android. So that's probably not the problem here, okay? Um, mRecycler View is something that we created, okay? And uh, if we go back up, we can see that there's the variable, right? So now experience has told me that uh, 
a lot of times you get a crash when you try to access a null reference. So what's a null reference? A null reference is a reference that hasn't been assigned an object. Okay, so that's my hypothesis. I might be wrong, I have to test it, but I think that's, that's what's going on. So let's look and see if there was ever an object that was assigned to M Recycler View. Let's just work our way back. I don't see an assignment statement for M Recycler View, not here, not in on create. So I think that's probably it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to um, put another log cat message here just to confirm. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take that variable, that reference, and I'm going to append a string to it. So what that'll do is, is that'll take, if this is null, that'll create a string, N-U-L-L, -L, and they'll show up in the log cat, okay? Um, before we invoke M Recycler Views set layout manager method. So let's try it. And if that's the case, then I'll know that that, that was the problem. Ta-da, that's the problem. We never assigned the recycler view to this reference. That seems to be the issue. So let's do that now. Okay. So before we invoke it, <clears throat> so M Prime recycler view equals recycler view. And we're going to need to use view dot find view by ID r dot ID dot um, crime recycler view. Okay, that I think will fix it. So let's try it. Let's see if it crashes. Nope, didn't crash. And if you look at logcat on this line right here, this is what used to say no, but now there's an actual memory address uh, there, right? It's not null anymore. So that was our problem. We fixed it. So all I needed to do was trace and use debugging statements. These are tools that you should have learned how to use back in CS1, and they hold here. It's an Android environment. So what? It's just programming. Okay. So I hope that you found that useful. If you're still online, please feel free to send me an email or stop by my office hours or hit me up on Zoom or whatever. Um, and if you're not a student of mine and you found the video useful, consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, if you thought it sucked, then go ahead and give it a thumbs down too. Consider supporting the channel in multiple ways. We've got memberships, that provide perks for as little as 99 cents. We've got um, subscriptions, of course. Leave comments, you know, whatever, okay? So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.